So I've gone ahead and I've modified up a few of these slides now. And one of the things that I want to do is say, for example, uh, we take a look at this, uh, what is CSA? What is a CSA, a Community Supported Agriculture? Now, if we look at this, this has a lot of white space. Look at all of this stuff here. Well, we could probably change that. We could probably put in uh, maybe a graphic uh, to just kind of uh, fill in that space. Now, one of the things that we can do is we, yes, we can go over here to my insert tab and immediately do it, or we can actually change sort of the layout of my slide. So far, we've only been dealing with uh, title slides and title and content slides. But if we click on this layout button, you see in our drop down menu, we have two different options. We have title slide, title and content. We have actually have more than two. Uh, section header, two content, comparison, title only, blank content, uh, pictures with captions. We have so many different ways that we can present our data. And so if I select the two content, when you see what it does is it just adds another placeholder for me. Now, in this case, I can come in here and you see I have these different options. I can actually add text or I can click on one of those buttons there inside it to actually do exactly that. So say, for example, we just need something that will fill in that space. So what I can do is I can actually insert something like a picture. And you see that we'll get our drop down menu uh, or our dialog box asking us to find that image that we're dealing with. And if we're following along inside of our uh, textbook, we're looking for produce one. And if I hit insert, all right, that's pretty nice. Now, if you ask me, it may be, maybe it's a, a little, you know, maybe I wanna showcase just part of it. Uh, well, one of the things I can do is I can resize it just like I've done in the past with my graphics. I can take these anchors here over each one of my kind of corners and uh, sides, and I can just click hold and drag it out. And you notice I'm going to do this on purpose. I'm going to make it over overly big, just a little too big. And you can see I can actually click and move it around by clicking, holding, dragging uh, inside there where I get my four crosshairs. But now that I've done this, you know, it's a little big. It's obviously covering up portions of my text, which is a big no-no, as you can clearly imagine. But notice one of the things that happened when I selected this data, uh, this picture. Uh, I got now a picture tools section. And inside that picture tools section, I have a format tab. And inside that format tab, I have tons of options. One of those is that I can change my image by cropping it. Now, cropping it. If we think back, you know, or think back, uh, if you think uh, like, I don't know, some of you probably have the Facebooks. Uh, if you think about, you know, you, maybe you had a significant other and that significant other, uh, you have tons of pictures of the two of you happy uh, inside of the Facebook. Uh, and, oh, yay, you know, life's so precious. And then they break your heart. They rip it out. They throw it out. They just throw it to the ground, and you know you hate them now. Well, you don't want to see them. You don't want them on the Facebooks, uh, or at least in your side of it. So what do you do? Well, you suddenly, magically, just they are no longer in the picture. Your cropping is what you're doing. We are actually doing the exact same thing. Notice these little black lines that have appeared on the corners and edges of my image. So what this allows for me to do is actually click hold and I can actually specify what I want to appear. So maybe I don't want, maybe, you know, I don't want that woman's dress right there to appear and I don't want sort of that wood panel over there to appear. And so what I can do is I can actually sort of cut it out as best I can. Now, as soon as I unclick on the crop button, what do you know? Now I've taken my image, and even though there's a woman kind of standing over here and there's a block of wood over here, I don't get to see that because it's automatically removing it or it's hiding it from the field of view. The last little thing I'll talk about is you see if I kind of move this around, 
as I do so, it kind of locks in the place. So it kind of is aligning it as best it can to other elements inside there. That way you have a little bit of a symmetry going on. So this is sort of the bottom of my slide. If you kind of look, I, it's hard for me to point at it because I'm having to hold down the image. But if you follow the bottom line there, bottom line right there, you're gonna notice right about here, it's on the three. It's explicitly on that three too. If I move it around, if I bring it up here, you notice it's kind of on the three. It's more like in the three and a half round. But you can see if I kind of put it right about there, now it's in the center. Now it's kind of at the same level as uh, CSA. So it, it all can kind of uh, go wherever you bring it and it'll lock in place again for that symmetry.